Everybody, welcome back. It's Rob with Collecting Dust Hobbies. Time for another storage locker update video. Uh, grabbed a couple of card boxes out of the unit. Um, this one here. I don't know. These are, I guess, a longer shoe box. It's it's the three three row. Um, just kind of uh, look like there's some cool stuff in there. I figured we could uh, go ahead and, and, and get into it. So anyway, if you if you like my channel, uh, please hit subscribe. Um, we got tons of videos coming up. More storage locker stuff. Uh, like I said, I'll probably be digging through that for the next couple of years um uh, as well as uh pack openings box openings things of that nature um so anyway um so if you if, if you like what we do hit subscribe at the end of this video if you like this video uh please hit like and comment below on anything that uh that uh you want to comment on regarding cards or whatnot so anyway here we go so we've got this box here and this is why it looks kind of interesting to me is you know it looks like there's some psa stuff in here um, as well as just a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, top loaded stuff, whatnot kind of thing. So just figured we'll get into it and see what happens. I guess we'll start with this. I mean, it looks like there might be some patch stuff right here too. You know, I haven't looked through it. I just kind of popped the lid today. It's like a cool box to go through. Do it on camera and we'll go from there. So I guess we'll start with this stuff. So it looks like we've got, um, let's flip these over. Like some Philip Rivers uh, rookies, I think 2004 maybe. Yeah, rookie card right there. So we have some Philip Rivers. So which makes sense. I mean, it was in San Diego, so pulling a lot of uh, Charger stuff, a lot of Padres things of that nature. So um, uh, Philip Rivers, Philip Rivers. So this is all like Philip Rivers rookie kind of stuff. Um. Philip Rivers stuff, so just a bunch of Philip Rivers rookies, uh, which is kind of, kind of nice. If he, he if he actually ever you know ha has a winning team where they can go, it'd be kind of nice. All this, um, he's had a pretty good career. So, all right, and we've got uh, let's see some led. So we actually got Drew Brees, nice is that a rookie. Drew Brees E card. Oh, so these look like they have some scratch, some scratchers on there. So I'm not not familiar with these, but it looks like there's a bunch of Drew Breeses. These ones have been scratched. That one has not. Just a, uh, some more Drew Brees. So these are most likely rookie, rookie era or around that time. Then you got a Ladini and Tomlinson. So it looks like it's been scratched as well, but interesting. So uh, basketball trading cards presented by the San Diego State University alumni. So it looks like a a giveaway. I'll open that another time. It's 2006, so I'm not sure who the uh, the big player was in 2006 for San Diego State basketball. I mean, I mean Kawhi Leonard. I know was there at some point in time, I believe. So you know, if that's got a Kawhi Leonard, it'd be amazing. Um, so we got an 87 mini set limited with Luke Robitaille. So there, we got the Gretzky on top. So it's a Peachy's mini, kind of cool. Um, a lot of stuff like this, I mean, you know, it's, you know, in set format, it's not worth a whole lot sometimes, but if the cards are in good enough shape, you just piece it out to like, say, Com C or something like that, and you can make some pretty good money, so. All right, so we got a Sammy Sosa bat, uh, base card, this is the second, oh, so a couple of them, so I've actually come across a couple of these before, so three of them, four, so five, it's kind of interesting, I don't know if they're numbered or not, we don't know how many are, but there's five. Sammy Sosa All-Star Game base cards. So, kind of cool. Something different. Um, so, so far, so good in this box. Um, let's see here. We got the uh, All-Star Game. This looks like probably a... Uh, yeah, these are uh, Diamondback team sets, it looks like. But they're All-Star Game embossed. So, they might have been a special All-Star Game. Maybe it was, it was it at the... Uh, I don't know where it was this year. Um, on top of my head. But, uh, yeah, Series 1, number 25. So, this is just a... a uh, all-star game. Let's just take a look. I guess it is all there is on us. So kind of interesting. All right, so here's these. I was getting to. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, wow, that's nice. 1977 World Series kind of patch card with Reggie Jackson. Some nice stuff. Cool. And we've got some racing. So we've got a race used tire for Jimmy Johnson. Um, we've got a Yasmini Thomas, uh, Pat, or uh, what do you call it, a Jersey Plus autograph, kind of nice, it's that Strata stuff, and we've got another one, same player, and again, and I'm assuming it's going to be the same, yeah, so looks like a couple of uh, 
a couple of some strata stuff for that guy. And so we got some uh, some more Dac Prescotts. If you guys see one of the other videos, I came across a a big uh, pile of Dac Prescotts. Looks like you got some Ezekiel Elliott as well. So this is probably just a you know just a, a small bunch of uh, Panini contenders with Zach and, and Ezekiel and anybody else who probably came out. And this one we've got another base card, another Sammy Sosa base card. Tops, All Star. And let's see some Ken Griffey's here. You know, Ken Griffey Jr. And there's a Randy Johnson. So maybe it's just some rookies or whatnot. Let's just go ahead and pop it. See what's in it. Yeah, so I mean, boxes like this, there were, there were a bunch in the unit at the beginning that I pulled out. And um, just haven't gone through them yet. But I want to say like boxes like this, there's probably, you know, a good hundred or so. So, okay, we got the Griffey. Randy Johnson, rookie. Got the Billy Ripken. Oh, there it is. Billy Ripken uh, air card. One, two, three. So three of the Billy Ripken air cards. And we got some King Griffey Jr. Um, rookie cards. And Randy Johnson. Cool. So, yeah, the Billy Ripken. I've never had that card before. I've, you know, come close a couple times. Now I've got three. Wow. Crazy. So anyway, I'm not going to show it close up on camera just because it has a really bad bad word on it, but um, but kind of cool. And we've got uh, some post-it notes. Jeff Bagwell Rookie Guild Star Cards. It's all Bagwell. Uh, and some more of these All-Star ones here. And then we got the uh, classic, still wrapped. Um, this would be the '89 classic. Um, I believe there is a Griffey in this this set, so kind of cool. Uh, this is a really good box so far. And this is just still in row one. We got PSA looks like PSA cards in the back there. Um, looks like we got some uh, hockey. I believe this is eighty seven, eighty seven tops. I believe or somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, eighty seven, eighty eight. We got Chris Chelios, and Doug Wilson, Grant Fuhr. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's just some randomness here or if there's something about you know, these cards being rare or something, I don't know. So, let's put that over there. Alright, so that's what we got. Alright, some more of these. found a lot of this stuff in the unit. A lot of these Mother's Cookies. A lot of A's, a lot of Padres, you know, from the 80's and whatnot. This is from the 90's, but just, just a ton of that stuff. And we've got uh, so Scotty Pippen. These are the Kellogg's Collegiate greats. Um, I believe there's a uh, Larry Bird and whatnot in there, so something different. A lot of oddball stuff as well in the unit. So here we got a, uh, is it a Chris, yeah, Chris Chambers mini Fleer mini star relic. Really kind of cool. Like really beat up though. That's a problem when you find a lot of collections, you know, when you see a lot of uh, jerseys and stuff, you get that kind of thing. But all right, let's see here. This is a Manny Ramirez insert card, all star. Got some Alfonso Soriano Topps Chrome rookie cards, and it looks like we have some UFC Daniel Cormier or Cormier. I'm not sure. And some jewelry. Not tons of this stuff in the unit. Just tons. Um, some more Conseco or some A's uh, Mother's Cookie stuff. And let's see here. Yeah, this is like a uh, Mars Blackman, you, you know, uh, Nike has like kind of a, their advertising cards. I've come across a few of these before. They're kind of cool. Um, we've got some uh, Jeff Gordon Tracks rookie cards. Three of those. What is this? Pepsi Ken Griffey Jr. So what year did this come out? So this looks like it's, uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, 1991 or so. So, but it looks like some kind of Pepsi promo, Pepsi uh, set of some sort. And we've got the exclusive Chris Weber uh, exchange. Uh, Lindsey Hunter. So, just some kind of subset that maybe was given out as something. We got the uh, 
Omaha Generals, 89.90. You got the Eric Lindros minor league card, looks like. Kind of cool. So, probably some other stuff in there. So, really cool box so far. All right. Uh, Rebel All-American team. You got Larry Johnson in the middle there. That's when they were... They had a pretty good uh, couple of seasons. Larry Johnson. And this is a Chargers Pro Mags Super Bowl set. So it's like Pro Mag, but it looks like maybe uh, it's this Chargers for one, number five, 544, so it's probably limited. Um, these Pro Mags, I mean, like the Barry Sanders and stuff does pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure um, and, uh, how limited this one is. but And then he's got the you know, some more UNLV running Rebels stuff. This things here, what is this? So we have... Fleer Pepsi Minis, Albert Pujols, what year is this? Okay, so Bobby had 2003. Yeah, Fleer 2003 Pepsi 30 of 30 set. Albert Pujols on top, probably card number one. <coughs> stuff I haven't seen before. It's a lot of oddball stuff. Uh, some more Kellogg's College Basketball greats. I believe there's a Jordan in there too now that I think about it. Um, just uh, Some more Run of Rebels. With uh, Jerry Tarkinian and Larry Johnson and whatnot. What is this? This looks old. The Gas House Gang. John Rothrock. So, 1974. TCMA. They did a lot of stuff. So, I'm not sure. Some kind of 74 old set. Always kind of fun to find the old things. Might not be worth much. I mean, a lot of the TCMA stuff doesn't, for whatever reason, people um, aren't as thrilled with it. Some of it does okay. Uh, I got a couple of Magic Johnsons. Looks like some kind of promo that came. Skybox, maybe a stadium giveaway or something. And then we've got various Joe Montanas, is what it says. So just some, you know, looks like pro set and whatnot. Nothing special, but Joe Montana. So we'll just take a look down here. Um, yep, all clean down there. And let's get into this pile here. Got a bunch of, bunch of stuff in top loaders okay so we got tyron woods i mean i don't know if these prices seem high to me i mean but you know i could be wrong i'm not into my into the ufc as much raquel pennington yo joanna i'm gonna try to pronounce that um yeah so it looks like just he's got 20 bucks all of them so i'm not sure what's special about these Particularly cars, I mean, there's a lot of them, so I mean, it can't be that rare, I guess. Um, tops now, $30. So I'll have to look these up. Everybody knows your UFC cards. You guys have seen these here, um, these UFC tops now. I mean, 30 20 bucks a piece seems seems a lot for me, um, just because they're newer stuff, and I didn't really see any of the, the big names in there. But, you know, if, if you guys know, let me know. Uh, Cody Garbant. Anthony Johnson, Jose Aldo, okay, just a bunch, yeah, Amanda Nunez, wow, look at that, great shot, um, alright, September, so these might have been given away at the actual UFC fight, who knows, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not sure how Tops now works. I know I know there's they still do stuff now. There's another great shot there. Just some grappling. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Connor McGregor. I mean, this actually might be like one of his earlier cards. 2016. So there you go. It's funny because this one only showing 12. Dollars, but you know, I mean, versus some of the other ones, but he, uh, he obviously became a bigger name. So three, four, so four Donald, uh, four um, Conor McGregor's. Okay, so just a bunch of UFC stuff. So again, if anybody knows about UFC stuff, I mean, I know the Conor McGregor might be a might be a little gem there. All right, we got the 84 Olympians, Cassius Clay. I actually had found a couple of graded ones in the unit, too. 
Uh, I think they were nines. Uh, they sold pretty well. So two, three, four, five. I also found some rack packs. So I think he probably opened a bunch of rack packs. So just a bunch of Muhammad Ali's here. Uh, when he was still going by the Cassius Clay before he changed his name. But yeah, just... You know, I mean, if they're gradable, I mean, they're they're decent. If not, you know, a couple bucks a piece, maybe. Uh, you know, worst case, a dollar a piece. But you know, just a ton of them there. Um, like those are the '84 rack packs that uh, came out um, at that time. So, you know, or '83 you know, actually is what it's under. So, kind of cool. And looks like just more. So these are just all Muhammad Ali cards. And then you got the, oh yeah, then there's this one too. This was the M&M's version, which is a little bit rarer. But, you know, some more Cassius Clay M&M cards. So I'll have to look at those for grading. Because I think the ones I, I sold were nines, and I think they sold for about $20 or so. Maybe 30 maybe for the M&M's. I don't remember exactly, but. But they sold fairly quickly. So, alright. Alright, we got some nice star cards. Nice 85 star. Crunch and Munch version. I think I think we came across uh, some of the Thomas Crunch and Munches earlier. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We've got a... Uh, looks like a uh, Leaf Matrix. Fractal Matrix Gold. With uh, Tony Gwynn. Is this numbered? Yeah, I don't think these are numbered, but I think that they they came out later and said there's you know each one of these has only so many, so I think there is actually a numbering system out there now. So some more Gwyns here. This is some Pinnacle certified with the uh, coating, and there's a red and a blue. He has fifty dollars on it. Um, don't see a number in on these either. And then there's a gold, so it's like red, blue, and a gold. So he's got a hundred dollars on this one. Don't think that's probably the case, but but uh, you know probably yeah. Uh, you know, 20 bucks or something, maybe. Um, Tony Gwynn, Star 88. Boggs and Gwynn, 88. They were the two top hitters at the time. We got the uh, Cassius Clay. Okay, there we go. So we got a uh, Eddie Murray rookie card in here. You know, a little ding at the top, but not bad. You know, 1978, which was in a sleeve, but... Okay, let's see here. Is this 72? Which is this the 73... Oh yeah, so this is a 73, and this is, uh, you know, the, the year going into when Hank Aaron, you know, was going to break the record, I guess. Or actually be 73, be given a 73, so he was closer by then than in 74. Yeah, so we got a 73 Hank Aaron. The uh, Frank, the recently uh, departed Frank Robinson here. He was the Angels. Willie Mays, kind of beat up though. Some good cards. 72 Yastrzemski. 75 Carlton Fisk. Yeah, kind of what you usually see when you find these cards. Bob Gibson, another Frank Robinson. It's a Brooks Robinson, 74. Seventy-three Yastrzemski, with the uh, seventy-eight O.J. Simpson, with the Forty uh, ers Finally, they kind of airbrushed the helmet, but so nice Simpson at the seventy-two Brock. It's in decent shape. Centering's an issue, but not too bad. So that's that's a nice little kind of find there in the middle. Um, See, looks like we got some more of those Sosa cards coming up here. Okay, so we got, oh, here we go. So Bryce Harper All-Star Game. What year is this? 2016. Okay, so All-Star Game. Oh, yeah, 2016 All-Star Game in Boston. We got Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Some more Sammy Sosa cards. Oh, here you go. Here we go. Hey, Renee, check it out, dude. So we got number 14 out of 25. Keeping it real, Dave Hester autograph from Storage Wars. Uh, that would have been funny, Renee, if Renee actually found this when he was going through it. But uh, I have to ask him about that. But anyway, um, Nolan Ryan's reflections cards it looks like some kind of uh, um, 
offshoot. Reggie Theus, 85 star. And this is a looks like a Duracell set of some sort with Frank Thomas. It says 2424. 24. There's more than there, so I'm assuming there's two sets in here. Um, Paul Molitor. But uh, here you guys go, yeah. Dave Hester autograph, 14 out of 25. I think it was what, Leaf? Yeah, it was the Leaf. Uh, um, I believe it was uh, Leaf um, Pop Culture, I think is what it came out of. Let's see here. We got a nice Carly Strimsky. Now here's the Mike Trout version of that All Star Car 2016. Kind of cool. Big Poppy. Buster Posey. Clayton Kershaw. So, yeah, these must have been like All Star give giveaways or something at the stadium. Kind of cool, though. Some more Bryce Harpers. Always nice to have some Bryce Harpers and Mike Trouts. Some poppies. Oh, here we go. So we got Tracy Lawrence. This also came, I think, out of that same leaf. Uh, number two out of ten. Tracy Lawrence autograph. Or this came out of the oh, this came out of the Panini Country Music one. Okay. We got Kelsey Harmon autograph. Twenty-three out of twenty-five. And Colt Ford, number three ninety-nine. Um, looks like a musician material, so maybe a shirt or something. Uh, another one of those. And so I think it's like, what, seven of those uh, Sosas? So, no, this, this box is turning out to be really nice. Um, and again, this is some stuff I pulled out early and just kind of stuck it in the corner. And I was looking at so oh, this might be a good good box to go through. So, so far, so good. So we got the Hank Aaron says set. So this is, must be a uh, another All-Star All -Star game uh, set. It's a 2009 All-Star game. It's all it looks like maybe it's all Hank Aaron's. It's four or four, so four Hank Aaron's. Uh, we got some more Steph Curry's. So found some more of these earlier. This is an autograph of is that uh, that's what's his name? Yeah, Corey McGetty. We got a uh, Panini Marquee Steph Curry. Um, these are not rookie cards. A couple years later, you got the Donner Elite Steph Curry. So some nice Steph Curry's. Iguodala, gold. Some more Stephen Curry. Warriors, so yeah, some more Steph Curry stuff. So man, this box has got a lot of good stuff in it. And I still think the wild card is these uh, is UFC cards. Not sure if they're worth anything, but they could be. And we still have the PSA stuff in the back there. So we'll figure that out in a second. Let's see. It's collapsing. Okay, what is this? So we've got a uh, Tops Now, um, Griffey and Quinn. So some baseball now. Uh, some more of these. These are 1992 Pinnacle Denny's Grand Slam um, cards. Yeah, Denny's has been doing that for a while, so it's kind of nuts. All right, All right what is this? We've got a dual... Dueling die cuts with uh, Urias and Hunter Renfro. Something different. We've got the uh, All Star Game 1999 reprint. Carl Carl Yastrzemski, and again it looks like four. So it looks like the one had the uh, Hank Aaron, and this one's got the uh, Yastrzemski set. And this looks like a Pinnacle tribute set for Jackie Robinson. Again, it looks like four cards. Or five cards in this case, five of five tribute set Jackie Robinson. So cool stuff. All right, so let's get to this stuff. Actually, there's something right here. Yeah, let's just pull it this way. Okay, we'll start with these. I guess we've got a 1991 BBM Japanese cards, Maishi Ro, an eight. So I'm not up on my Japanese ball players. So if you guys know any of these. Feel free to comment. Masaichi Kaneda. Another eight. This is came from a 91 set. We got a uh, 1992 Hoops NBA Championship Series TR1. Michael Jordan. Um, and Clyde Drexler. So I'm not sure if this is, you know. Yeah, it's got a big ding on it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there. It's got a ding. That's why it's a seven. We got the All Star Game 
Michael Jordan. It's a six. 2003 uh, Upper Deck Shooting Star Steve Smith, eight. It's a kind of a patch card. And there was something else right here. And it looks like we've got some uh, Batman and Robin playing cards. So, always something odd. And we've got the, um, this looks like the, uh, what was it, uh, Jack Oway. This was the um, World League when the football had the World League. It's kind of actually last again. It's kind of fun to watch. Um, and let's see here. Some more graded stuff. Or actually, these are just slab. They're not graded. So you got a Shaquille O'Neal Feature Force. Um, let's get another Shaquille O'Neal Feature Force. Uh, this was the this is the classic pick classic draft picks collection they did for sport so looks like you got Shaquille O'Neal I don't remember who in and, and can't remember everybody here because these are all like feature stars Phil Nevin Shaquille O'Neal uh, Desmond Howard and Roman Hammerlick okay so those are the four got a uh, 86 Canseco, another Feature Force Shaquille O'Neal, and a Diamond Promo Frank Thomas. Only 400 of these. So I've seen a bunch of these where there's only 400 promos were made. And um, we've got another Frank Thomas here. This looks like the, just the 91. We've got an 86, Lee, or 86 Donruss uh, Consecos, but they're pretty rough. And see, this is why I don't like these screw downs as much, is this is what happens. You guys can see that. Moisture will get in and and whatnot. So a lot of times you have that on the cards. And this one actually fell out of the, uh, out of the, uh, you can see where it's supposed to be right here. And it kind of slipped out. So like, whenever I see these, it just, one is, it, you know, there's, there's just enough room for moisture to get in there. And then if it's screwed down tight, the moisture kind of like sticks to cards. And when you pull it out, you know, then it's, it's basically, you know, you're, you're taking your chances on if the cards are going to stick and, and you're going to get paper loss depending on, on what the, um, kind of card it is, you know, the older the card or whatnot. So anyway, okay. So we've got, uh, so Beckett 2003 score 9.5 AJ Hawk. Uh, looks like we just have a Whitey Ford Tops Collector Series. A 2002 Kareem Abdul Jabbar Chrome Laker 9 GA. Just an odd Jeff Ballard card in the middle there. Another GA Kevin Moss Certified Authentic Autograph. And another, Jap another Japanese card. Yasuaki. Taiho, Dodgers, so not sure, and getting to the end here, that's a nice one, this is the uh, all-time fan favorites uh, autographs, Buddy Bell, kind of cool, they usually go for 20, 30 bucks depending on player, the uh, Marshall Falk SP, a 1984 Marcus Allen second year card, looks like there's, and, and the inaction or whatever it's called, this one's nice. Is this pulls? No, it's a record breakers um, relic card with Lou Brock. These are kind of always kind of cool. Looks like he's got a uh, piece of cardboard there to keep it from moving. So that's kind of a nice card. Kwame Brown, eight. Jarrett Wright, Jarrett Wright, PSA ten star rookie for the Indians. Oh, there you go. Nice little Ryan Sandberg rookie. A little off center, a little a couple of dings, but still. Joe Montana, and then we have a star Cal Ripken career stats card from one of 1,000 promo sets. And not sure what year, probably I'm assuming the early 90s, probably 92 or so. So anyway, let's see if that's everything. Yep, that looks like everything in the box. So really cool box. A lot of good stuff in there, a lot of value. Um, you know, we get these, uh, Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, all-star cards have to look those up. Just, just a bunch of different stuff. Some really cool stuff. So anyway, um, hope you guys liked the video. If you, if you liked it, hit like, comment below on anything, the UFC stuff, the, uh, tops now, um, or the all-star, uh, game cards. Um, I mean, just, just so much different stuff in here. Um, 
And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, supporting the channel. And as always, do what you love, follow your passions, and have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.